Yo, this build is soloing the entire team. Pause. You want to know how to get this OP? You need to work on last hits. Welcome to Hito 99U, where it's my job to bring you to the 99th percentile. That's Masters in Pokemon Unite. And today we're talking about Venusaur. Venusaur is listed as an attacker. However, running this Giga Drain Petal Dance build, you'll be happy to find out. He's also a unstoppable life draining Terminator. But there's one thing standing between you and squad wiping the entire team. It's levels. You need to get level seven to get this build fully online, which is why we're gonna be talking about last hitting across five key fights. And I'll throw in a little bonus on how to secure Dreadnought and Zapdos. So let's get into it. Here's what you need to be doing in your pregame lobby. I want you running Muscle Band, Buddy Barrier, Focus Band. Buddy Barrier and Focus Band are two of the best defensive items in the game. It's like not even that long ago, it was being run on every single Pokemon. And don't forget, this build is about rapid life draining. Your only kryptonite is getting bursted and dying. So as long as you're tanky enough to spam your Giga Drain, you'll be fine. You'll pump out enough damage, trust me. This is like a death by a thousand cuts. You don't need burst, you just need to be alive. Why are you running Muscle Band on a special attacker? Well, the reason is his scalers are really low, so he doesn't benefit from the additional wise glasses, choice specs, etc. So you actually are better off running Muscle Band where your big AOE boosted attack will hit multiple targets and you'll get that 3% damage to kick in. That wraps up items. Let's talk about where you're going. Venusaur can jungle, but I want you in lane because the last hitting cheat codes I'm about to drop are gonna get you rolling your opponent over right from the first fight. And he can be taken top or bot. I'll be covering both, but I prefer bot because you get more experience on the Audinos down there. So we're gonna be going bottom lane. There's four APOMs on the way here. I want you to get two of them. Let's start by picking Razor Leaf. That's our best move. You'll see me use it right away on the first one here. Boom, getting it. Now in this trainer match, there's three people with me. That's not great, but normally that would get me really close to level three. You're going to get the second one with auto attacks. And now I want you to line up on the bottom and line up your Razor Claw to hit both. See that? That's key. Speeds up your time because your first key fight here is the Audino. And I want you level three for this. This is your first contested wild Pokemon of bot lane. And this is big because it sets the tone for the lane. You want to win this so you get the experience advantage. Now, depending on the level of play you're at, you know, your team might, might not show up. They might not show up. I'm going to assume that both you and your teammate are there and both the two enemies are there and they're going to try to contest it. Any other variation is going to change how aggressive or defensive you can be, depending if you got the numbers or not. As a level three Venusaur, you're coming in with four attack options. You're auto attack, your boosted attack, your seed bomb, and then your razor leaf. And you can mix and match these, which I've done to give you the best combos to use. So let's get to it. For this Audino, I want you using seed bomb into boosted auto. This will do 24% of its health. And don't forget for your boosted auto, that means you can't just be attacking willy nilly. You need to get up to two charges and then hold it. So I want you to be doing razor leaf to get the health down to 24%, letting the enemy hit it down. You know, there's gonna be other sources of damage. You don't need to be the one that gets it to 24%. You need to be the one that hits your combo at 24% to get the last hit. Only the last hit matters. None of the other damage does. Don't forget that. And now's a really good time to mention that I worked on an infographic where it's a tier list of all of your combos, starting from the best one, like the one I just listed, into your second best, third best, etc. You can find this in the description below. And it kind of matters now because I wanna talk about your third best option, Razor Leaf. This is actually not the best damaging move, but it's your safest option because it happens from such a great range. So if you need to use this because maybe you're in a 1v2 situation, try to use it to snipe out the Audino and check out these numbers. And let me set the record straight. Razor Leaf does more damage, but it almost takes like a full second for all the damage to come through. That's a lot of time for your opponent to react to. I use a barometer of 400 milliseconds. Then I test all the combos and moves to make them fit in that window. If you're in that window, your opponent can't really react to it. It's just too fast. Using 400 milliseconds, only 20 frames of Razor Leaf fits in. That means five hits out of the 10. We're talking about cutting the damage in half to about 300 damage versus Seed Bomb and a Boosted Auto is 500 damage at nine frames, stronger and faster. Okay, let's bounce over to top lane for a second. Your first fight there will be a core fish, but getting there wants you to do the same thing. Two of the four APOMs on the way to lane and making sure you hit level three. 
getting both Razor Leaf and Seed Bomb. Now top lane is a little tricky because you're going to have a Core Fish in the middle and then an Apom on your side and an Apom on their side. So how do I know if I can be aggressive or defensive? Well, you have to answer the simple question. Is your partner coming with you? Are they coming as a unit to the Core Fish? Are they down a man? If you have a numbers advantage or you're even, I want you aggressive. The Apom gives more experience, so I want you to kind of skip past the Core Fish and go right for their Apom. And again, your best combo is going to be Seed Bomb into Boosted Auto Attack. However, this fight is kind of long because you have the Apom there and the Core Fish. It's all going on at the same time. So now you have a good opportunity to back into your second, third, or fourth best combo, depending on what's on cooldown. Now everything's situational, but if you see the Core Fish and the Apom lining up by nature of how everything's getting positioned and the fight is flowing, don't forget you can hit them both with your Razor Leaf. Boosted Auto Attack works this way too. So yes, your best combo is Seed Bomb into Boosted Auto, but if things are lined up, use your line attacks, Boosted Auto and Razor Leaf. I want you to be water. Use the right tool for the right situation. Following your first fight, you're gonna back up onto your side of the lane and clear out the rest of the wild Pokemon on the map. Keep in mind that nine on the game clock, there's gonna be a core fish that spawns in the corner, grab that. And then I want you to wait for 850 where you're going to be doing your next big fight, bees. You should be level four coming into this and it's gonna be easy because your best combo is the same one. Seed bomb into boosted auto attack. Now let's talk shop. There's four things on the map. Three little comb bees, one big Vespa queen. Which one do you go for? Technically, if you get all three comb bees, that's more experience than if you just got the Vespa Queen. However, it's hard for your moves to hit everything in that perfect AOE. You can't guarantee getting all three. So my preference is to always go for the Vespa Queen as the main target and kind of just try your best to get the comb bees. What does that mean for us? I want you to use your Razor Leaf for the comb bees, but save your big move for the Vespa Queen. Seed Bomb into Boosted Auto. And of course, here are the percents that you need. And that should get you level five, which is gonna get you Giga Drain. This is half of the puzzle for you being an overpowered monster. And since you're not at the power spike yet, just play safe, go to your side of the map, clear up your wild Pokemon, keep building levels, try to hit six, because guess what? We're running it back at 7.20 on the clock. It's the second round of bees, and I'm gonna tell you how to win these. Okay, time to play with your new toys. I mean, same idea here. You're going for the Vespa Queen primarily and try your best to get the Combies but you're gonna be using the new combo. It is auto attack into Giga Drain. And this combo is blazing fast. It's a three framer from damage to damage, meaning that they almost hit at the same time. It's hard to react to. Uh, what more could you ask for? Oh, I know, Giga Drain heals you a crap ton, depending on how many targets you hit. So if you hit all four Bs and the two enemy Pokemon, you'll like almost full heal yourself. So you can get really aggressive when it comes to Bs. And now if you won these, you're on the way, if not already, at level seven. The next big fight is Dreadnought at seven minutes on the game clock, all the way at the bottom of the map. But if you're not seven yet, I need you to get there. Ugh, tax your jungle, do what you gotta do. Find the experience because seven is your power spike. You're a totally different animal once you hit seven. Okay, let's be real. Venusaur is not the best last hitter and not gonna be the one who smites Dreadnought in a coordinated team. But we're talking solo queue the grind to masters. And sometimes you just gotta put on your big boy pants and do everything yourself. And slow combos don't work on Dread or Zap, but guess what? We have something that's so fast and you're gonna be running the same thing. Auto attack into Giga Drain. Look for this percent on Dread and try your best to steal. Now you can be an absolute menace. Just try not to get crowd controlled because as long as you got Petal Dance up and you can spam Giga Drain, you're like unkillable. Push your advantage hard and hopefully you won't need Zapdos. But if you do, here's your best last hitting option. It's your ultimate. It has a 1.4 second charge time, so you gotta bake that into the percentage, and you're looking for 5% on Zapdos' health bar. Now there's other combos that can hit harder, but again, they're too slow. You need instant damage for Zap. There's just too much damage flowing in. You don't want it to get stolen by a stray hit. And that covers it all. I mean, you got the build, you know how to play it, and you know how to get there before everyone else, because now you're gonna get the experience with all these last hits to outrace everyone to seven. Go be a spinning, leaf terror thing and win all your games to masters you can thank me later it took a lot of hard work in excel and tons of test matches to get these numbers for y'all so i'd appreciate a like on the video if this helped also go down in the comments below and tell me what pokemon you want me to cover next in case you're a lucario main i got a video here so thanks everyone keep on that masters grind and stay tuned for the next class